truth is, I am Iron Man. channel it's the pop top lee and in this video i've been doing a little bit of buying on facebook i've been avoiding facebook for a few years for my own reasons but i figured i'd go back on have another look around join a few facebook groups um, and i've picked up a couple of pops which i thought i'd show you today so two pops um, one of them was one i've been after for a, quite a while i'm not going to use the term grail but it's one that you'll, as soon as I open it, I think you'll see if you've been a subscriber to the channel for a while. I've mentioned this one a few times, so I've managed to pick that one up. And then the other one I just seen, just seemed like a really good bargain. So I figured, you know what, I'll pick it up. The video probably would have been made sooner, but I've been having these come through the door, left, right and centre, I think three in total, before I've managed to get me two parcels. So first one is very well packaged to be fair it's the original Iron Man pop uh, let me cut this open probably should have done this before I started the video to be fair but the sun is shining I figured let's do a quick video and get these out there so yeah original Iron Man I picked this one up for five pounds and that included postage it just seemed like a great deal um, I wasn't gonna actually bother with the original pops you can see the lines on the back but I know they're bringing the um, patina versions out and I just thought well if I could get cap and iron man and then get the patinas then that'd be quite good so I just thought I'd have a look and like I said this one five pound so if you think about it I mean it's on the box I'm sure the postage postage was three pounds so essentially I've got a two pound pop here which you can't grumble at any day of the week um, I said it looks really excellent condition as well. I mean, I'm an out of boxer, you'll see that. But yeah, the box is in really good condition. Just one on about the box as well, you might be looking over if you're a regular viewer and just see obviously this area up here now is completely clear. I'm just doing another bit of a move around. Um, done something different with my cabinet over there, which once it's all done, I'll, I'll maybe just do a little room view and you can just have a look at what we've changed around. Just figured, just update it a little bit, make some more room, move some bits around. So that's another thing for another day. So there was that one. And then the one, I mean, the packaging on this one, it's just, I think must have used half a roll of tape. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if in a second this doesn't get sped up, which we'll see. Oh no, it's opening quite well. But yeah, this one is, um, one I've been after for a while, and I refuse to pay over the odds for pops. That would be the downside, I would say, of being back on Facebook, is that I've noticed one of the reasons I, I kind of pulled away from it a little bit before was that as soon as something comes out, it seems like it appears on Facebook for double, triple the price. And I, I'm not for that, it's not, it's not what I'm about. I mean, just since I've been back on, um, the Yondu EC6 exclusive has appeared in some Disney stores. I know a few people who actually really want that pop and just want it for their own collection. But you've seen it on these groups where people have obviously gone out, as soon as they know, buy them, flip them. I'm fine with people making profit, but this is, it's, it ruins it for collectors. So if you are one of those people and you do that kind of thing, I'm probably not the channel you're going to be watching because I'm, I'm not, not keen on that at all. I'd much rather, if I get the opportunity to help out collectors, I'd rather do that. So. Finally getting into it, really well packaged again. And it's actually, it's come in a pop protector, which is fantastic. I didn't know that was gonna happen. And it is the one I've been after for a while, the Iron Man exclusive, the Tesco exclusive from the Endgame range. So uh, quickly pop it out of here. So this cost me um, 17 pound. So if you think about it, it's actually come in a pop protector, postage at three pound. So Essentially, the, the, after PayPal fees, the guy, the guy has basically sold it to me for what he's paid for it, which is excellent, really. I'm struggling to get out of this pop protector, actually, now. Not used to using these, obviously. There we go. Helping you actually open it properly. So, yeah. 
So that's Iron Man. So I'm literally down to just a couple of pops now, missing from this range so far. Obviously the Collector Corpse one. Uh, that's going to be trickier, but really, really happy to have this one. The aim is that obviously I'll display it with the um, four, with Molnir and Stormbreaker and Captain America with Shield from EMP. Just the three of them should look excellent together. So, as is always the case in my videos, I'll nip away for a second. And let's get these guys out of the box. You can have a proper look at them. So, back with you guys, all out of the box. Um, first one, Iron Man, well, both Iron Man. Iron Man? Iron, either way. Um, so, this is the classic one. Actually, I don't know much in reference to what kind of year this is related to as pop wise. Had a little look on the box. Um, the only thing I've noticed majorly different is the distribution rights were it was going back to when it was underground toy, so it's it's an older pop, but there's no it's it, the box is actually really cool to be honest with you. I mean if you look at the wave on the back, I know I showed it a minute ago, but the, there's some cool pops on there. I think if you could get these as a set, I get the feeling that Red Skull may be difficult and I'm I'm pretty sure the thing I've seen going for astronomical money, so it's probably not gonna happen for me, but if I can get the three, um, Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man, and then go for the patinas on them as well, I think that'd be quite quite a cool little collection to have. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. You you can't go wrong for five pounds. You can't go wrong. So, unless it's um, a mystery box and you get a Riverdale pop, and then obviously you bummed out big time on that one. So, did notice a little bit. It might be because it's an older pop. If I come close in on his head. Um, I want to try and look at my camera and see if you can see. Yeah, just there, that's a good view actually. The paint around the top of the head isn't exactly perfect, but a bit of glare there, sorry. But yeah, I'm not gonna quibble over that. I'm happy with that. Um, it's a nice pop. And then, obviously the one I was after, to try and, I'm gonna, trying to go all in for this Endgame collection. Like I said, the Collector Corpse box is, um, I know that you can get them from some places and I've got, there'll be another video on the way actually to do with Flex Corp soon so keep an eye out for that one, I'll talk more about that then but yeah I'm, I'm really happy with this Iron Man, I can't think of the reference point from the film as to why he's with, that, with the hand out but it's obviously a common pose for Iron Man and it is a really nice pop, I mean, why they have to make them these supermarket exclusives and quite hard to find is beyond me. It's getting hard now as a collector to get the ones you want without having to go here, there and everywhere. But I'm going to do it because it's it's the end of an era really but with Endgame. I know Spider-Man um, Far From Home is at the official end of Wave 4 but a lot of these characters now from Endgame, this is, this is going to be it for them you'd imagine. So I'm going to go all in for them and see how we can get on. So that's the Iron Man. Really happy with that. Um, once I've got it all lined up like I said, I'm trying to redo my cabinet and redo this from shelving. Just get them in the right places. I'll probably do a little film with that as well. Or even just put some pictures in at some point and you can have a look at them. So there you go, just two pops for this video today. But two, in my, in my view, really good pops and really good deals. And it shows a little bit of what you can get on Facebook if, if you look in the right places. Um, I'm not going to put links to groups at this point for the simple fact. I can't actually remember which groups I bought them from. I'm not in a, a lot of groups, just dipping in and out of um, sharing my videos really, and more than anything. But you can get some good stuff, so it's not all bad. So I'll, I will stick on there for now. There's a link to the Pop Tart page. I should probably actually mention that as well. It's rambling on again. Currently the page is called the Funko Pop Tart. It will be reverting back to the Pop Tart. That was just something I did um, just to see if it affected anything with regards to search engines and things like, things like that. And then you can't turn it back straight away, so it, everything is just going to be linked to the Pop Tart. And the Instagram is still the Pop Tart, and Twitter is still the Pop Tart, and it will eventually go back to being called the Pop Tart. I think I've got to wait 60 days or something. So I don't understand these things, I'm, I'm too old for this kind of stuff to be honest with you, but I, I enjoy doing it. And if you're watching this, I'm hoping you do too. So little bit about the giveaway, it's getting closer and closer. What my thoughts are with that now is, um, I did the, would you rather have a mystery box or would you rather see what's happening in one of my previous videos. It was close, but it was 
three votes against two, so it's going to be a mystery box I'm going to do. But I am going to throw in a little thing just as a sweetener for when I do it. So I'm going to show one item that is possible for you to pick when you do the giveaway. So giveaway video will be going up next week. So I think what today is. Today is the 4th of July, Independence Day. If you're American, happy Independence Day. The video will be going up for this on the 11th. I'm going away then afterwards on my holiday and the aim is that when I come back, anyone who's entered the giveaway, I'll then sort that out after my holiday. So, cheers for watching guys. Cheers for listening to the rambling at the end. Um, as always, I do really appreciate the subscribers, new subscribers, say hello, old subscribers. I love the community side of things, love commenting on other people's videos and I love it when you comment on mine. So, cheers for doing that. Till the next one which there will be one more video actually before the giveaway video. You can like, comment, subscribe, and thank you very much guys. See you all soon. Bye now, bye.